Giorgio Vasari, Italian, Dordo V A Zari, the 30th of July 1511 to the 27th of June 1574, was an Italian painter, architect, writer, and historian, most famous today for his lives of the most excellent painters, sculptors, and architects, considered the ideological foundation of art historical writing. Topic: Early life. Vasari was born on 30 July 1511 in Arezzo, Tuscany. Recommended at an early age by his cousin Luca Signorelli, he became a pupil of Guglielmo da Marsiglia, a skillful painter of stained glass. Sent to Florence at the age of 16 by Cardinal Silvio Passerini, he joined the circle of Andrea del Sarto and his pupils Rosso Fiorentino and Jacopo Pontormo, where his humanist education was encouraged. He was befriended by Michelangelo, whose painting style would influence his own. He died on 27 June 1574 in Florence, Grand Duchy of Tuscany, at aged 62. <laughs> painting In 1529, he visited Rome where he studied the works of Raphael and other artists of the Roman High Renaissance. Vasari's own Mannerist paintings were more admired in his lifetime than afterwards. In 1547 he completed the Hall of the Chancery in Palazzo della Cancellaria in Rome with frescoes that received the name Sala dei Cento Giorni. He was consistently employed by members of the Medici family in Florence and Rome, and worked in Naples for example on the Vasari Sacristy, Arezzo and other places. Many of his pictures still exist, the most important being the wall and ceiling paintings in the Sala di Cosimo I in the Palazzo Vecchio in Florence, where he and his assistants were at work from 1555, and the frescoes begun by him inside the vast cupola of the Duomo were completed by Federico Zuccari and with the help of Giovanni Balducci. He also helped to organize the decoration of the studiolo, now reassembled in the Palazzo Vecchio. Among his other pupils or followers are included Sebastiano Flori, Bartolomeo Carducci, Domenico Bensi, Tommaso del Verrocchio, Federigo di Lomberto, Federigo del Padovano, Niccolò Betti, Vitter Cassini, Mirabello Cavallori, Salincorno, Jacopo Capi, Jacopo di Meglio, Piero di Ridolfo, Stefano Veltroni of Monte San Savino, Orazio Porta of Monte San Savino, Alessandro Fortori of Arezzo, Bastiano Flori of Arezzo, Fra Salvatore Fo of Arezzo, and Andrea Aretino. Architecture Aside from his career as a painter, Vasari was also successful as an architect. His loggia of the Palazzo degli Uffizi by the Arno opens up the vista at the far end of its long narrow courtyard. It is a unique piece of urban planning that functions as a public piazza, and which, if considered as a short street, is unique as a Renaissance street with a unified architectural treatment. The view of the loggia from the Arno reveals that, with the Vasari Corridor, it is one of very few structures that line the river which are open to the river itself and appear to embrace the riverside environment. In Florence, Vasari also built the Long Passage, now called Vasari Corridor, which connects the Uffizi with the Palazzo Pitti on the other side of the river. The enclosed corridor passes alongside the river Arno on an arcade, crosses the Ponte Vecchio and winds around the exterior of several buildings. It was once the home of the Mercado de Vecchio, he also renovated the medieval churches of Santa Maria Novella and Santa Croce. At both he removed the original rude screen and loft, and remodeled the retro choirs in the mannerist taste of his time. In Santa Croce, he was responsible for the painting of the Adoration of the Magi which was commissioned by Pope Pius V in 1566 and completed in February 1567. It was recently restored, before being put on exhibition in 2011 in Rome and in Naples. Eventually it is planned to return it to the Church of Santa Croce in Bosco Marengo province of Alessandria, Piedmont. In 1562 Vasari built the octagonal dome on the Basilica of Our Lady of Humility in Pistoia, an important example of High Renaissance architecture. In Rome, Vasari worked with Giacomo Barozzi da Vignola and Bartolomeo Amanati at Pope Julius III's Villa Giulia. The lives of the most excellent painters, sculptors, and architects Often called 
the first art historian. Vasari invented the genre of the Encyclopedia of Artistic Biographies with his La Vite de Pu Excellenti Pittori, Scultori, et Architettori Lives of the Most Eminent Painters, Sculptors, and Architects, dedicated to Grand Duke Cosimo I de Medici, which was first published in 1550. He was the first to use the term Renaissance Renascita in print, though an awareness of the ongoing rebirth in the arts had been in the air since the time of Alberti, and he was responsible for our use of the term Gothic art, though he only used the word goth which he associated with the barbaric German style. The lives also included a novel treatise on the technical methods employed in the arts. The book was partly rewritten and enlarged in 1568, with the addition of woodcut portraits of artists some conjectural. The work has a consistent and notorious bias in favor of Florentines, and tends to attribute to them all the developments in Renaissance art, for example, the invention of engraving. Venetian art in particular along with arts from other parts of Europe, is systematically ignored in the first edition. Between the first and second editions, Vasari visited Venice and while the second edition gave more attention to Venetian art finally including Titian, it did so without achieving a neutral point of view. There are also many inaccuracies within his lives. For example, Vasari writes that Andrea del Costagno killed Domenico Veneziano, which is not true, given Andrea died several years before Domenico. Vasari's biographies are interspersed with amusing gossip. Many of his anecdotes have the ring of truth, while others are inventions or generic fictions, such as the tale of young Giotto painting a fly on the surface of a painting by Cimabue that the older master repeatedly tried to brush away, a genre tale that echoes anecdotes told of the Greek painter Apelles. He did not research archives for exact dates, as modern art historians do, and naturally his biographies are most dependable for the painters of his own generation and those of the immediate past. Modern criticism, with new materials opened up by research, has corrected many of his traditional dates and attributions. Vasari includes a sketch of his own biography at the end of the lives, and adds further details about himself and his family in his lives of Lazzaro Vasari and Francesco Salviata. According to the historian Richard Goldthwaite, Vasari was one of the earliest authors to use the term competition or concorrenza in Italian in its economic sense. He used it repeatedly, and stressed the concept in his introduction to the life of Pietro Perugino, in explaining the reasons for Florentine artistic preeminence. In Vasari's view, Florentine artists excelled because they were hungry, and they were hungry because their fierce competition amongst themselves for commissions kept them so. Competition, he said, is one of the nourishments that maintain them. Topic. Social standing. Vasari enjoyed high repute during his lifetime and amassed a considerable fortune. In 1547, he built himself a fine house in Arezzo now a museum honoring him, and decorated its walls and vaults with paintings. He was elected to the municipal council or priori of his native town, and finally rose to the supreme office of Gonfalonier. In 1563, he helped found the Florence Accademia e Compagnia della Arte del Disegno, with the Grand Duke and Michelangelo as CAPI of the institution and 36 artists chosen as members. <laughs> Public collections Rijksmuseum Amsterdam Gallery Giorgio Vasari's works. Paintings Giorgio Vasari's frescoes and decorations. Vasari's Libro de Desegni Giorgio Vasari's works. Architecture References and sources References Sources The Lives of the Artists Oxford University Press, 1998. ISBN 0-19283410-X Lives of the Painters, Sculptors and Architects, Volumes I and II. Everyman's Library, 1996. ISBN 0-679-45101-3 Vasari on Technique. Dover Publications, 1980. ISBN 0-486-2017-X Life of Michelangelo. 
Alba House, 2003. ISBN 0-8189-0935-8 This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Chisholm, Hugh, ed. 1911. Vasari, Giorgio. Encyclopædia Britannica. 27 11th ed. Cambridge University Press. Herbermann, Charles, ed. 1912. Giorgio Vasari. Catholic Encyclopedia, 15. New York, Robert Appleton Company. Topic. Further reading Reading Vasari, eds. Anne B. Berrio, Andrew T. Latis, Norman E. Land, and Geraldine M. Wood London, Philip Wilson, 2005. The Ashgate Research Companion to Giorgio Vasari, ed. David J. Cast, Surrey, Ashgate, 2014. Topic. External links Works by Giorgio Vasari at Project Gutenberg Works by or about Giorgio Vasari at Internet Archive Works by Giorgio Vasari at LibriVox Public Domain Audiobooks Works by Giorgio Vasari at Open Library Biography of Vasari and Analysis for Four Major Works Petri Lukonin. Giorgio Vasari. Books and Writers Giorgio Vasari, the first art historian copies of Vasari's Lives of the Artists online. Giorgio Vasari's Lives of the Artists, site created by Adrian DeAngelis. Now largely completed in the posting of the lives, intended to be retranslated to become the unabridged English version. Levite, 1550 unabridged, original Italian. Stories of the Italian artists from Vasari, translated by E. L. Seeley, 1908. Abridged, in English. Levite, Edizioni Giuntina e Torrentiniana. Gli artisti principali citati dal Vasari nel Vite. Elenco. Excerpts from the Vite combined with photos of works mentioned by Vasari.